I'm gonna take you through the process of creating a new recipe. So right now the oven is on, we are on the work menu, but we need to go to the programming menu. To get there, we wanna press the C button, go back to main menu. We wanna scroll down to programming. So here, brings up the programming menu. This programming menu has a list of all the programs we have on this specific oven. If we wanna add a new one, we can select on any pro uh, program here. And then if we want to edit that program, we can edit it, but we want to create a new recipe, so new. Brings up a brand new edit menu. So the first line is our program. So here we want to create, let's say, mini cookie. So we want to delete program. This back arrow is our delete button. This arrow up is our upper and lower case. So I'm going to do mini cookie. M, drop it down to lower case. And now I want to add a space. So scroll through. There's a little space here where there's nothing in there. That's our space. Select that and then cookie. So I want to bring it back up to capital letters. C and then drop it back down. And then cookies. So once I have that all in there, this back arrow is my accept button here. So I'm gonna select this, mini cookies. All right, so let's add a photo. Uh, you can add, upload your own photos via USB port uh, in a specific size and uh, file. So you can do that. We have some preloaded programs. Uh, for this case, we'll just select one. There we go. So you can see one, and then we wanna set our preheat. So step one is always preheat. So we'll select this with the white on off button and then we want to edit. So edit, we'll set the preheat. Typically you do maybe the same or about five degrees higher than what you want your bake temperature to be. Right now we're working on the DBUS S which is a four pan oven and we load that fairly quickly. Uh, so the preheat doesn't need to be as high. If we're doing the DBUS L where we have eight pans to put in there, we might want to add a little more temperature because it's going to take us a little longer to load. But with the four, uh, pan oven, we'll just do 330 degrees because we'll bake at 325. So 330, fan speed at 100%. Uh, there's nothing in the oven, so the fan strength only really affects how quickly it's going to preheat. So we want that all the way up. And then our vent is closed, which is what we want because we don't want the heat escaping out of the oven. So our first step is good. So hit the C button, back to the edit menu. Then we have a steam step here. We don't need steam for cookies. So let's delete this. So I'm going to select it. And then instead of editing, I'm going to delete. Delete entry, yes. Now our steam step is gone. If we ever need to add a steam step back in, we can select right there, preheat, new, and we can add a steaming step, but we don't want steam. So let's go to our bake step. So here at the bake step, we want to edit. We said we'll bake at 325. So we'll drop this down to 325. And these arrows work one at a time or circling around. 325, and let's bake for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, all right, and four mini cookies. Um, they tend to be pretty light, so we don't wanna do full fan speed because it can really move the cookies around, especially before they start to melt and settle. So let's start at six, and after the first baking, we could adjust that depending on how well it does. But the higher the fan speed, the more consistent the overall bake is. So you wanna be as close to as high as you can without affecting the product moving around on the tray. So we also wanna make sure to keep our vent closed. Opening the vent is gonna be for different products like hearth products that need steam or items like that where you wanna crust. So we'll leave this closed for cookies. This is all good, so we'll hit the C button, back out. All right, and let's, just to show you, let's add a new baking step. So we'll add maybe two more minutes at a lower temperature. So I select my second baking step here. Let's do new, and we'll do new baking. So it brings me up a whole new baking step. This one we'll say do 310 degrees for two minutes. So we'll drop it to 310 here for two minutes. And let's keep the fan speed, let's drop it a little lower. So we'll go down to maybe 50%. Again, this is an actual baking program. I just wanna show you some of the features. Uh, and again, same thing, you can open close the vent, but with cookies, we wanna keep the vent closed. So we'll back out have all of my steps, it looks good. I will typically go through and check 
each step, make sure my vent's closed, my fan speed's right, go through everything and make sure it's what I want. Everything looks great. So back out. Once we're ready, we think we have it, hit C. Save changes, yes or no. If we say no, then it'll delete everything we just worked on. If we say yes, it'll save it and it'll put it in here. So we have mini cookies and then we will back out, go to the work menu and we can see it right here. We added the one. So we can select that, mini cookies, and we just added a new program. Nice work.